What comes to your mind when you think of Transylvania, a central Romanian place? It is the place for Dracula, the place of vampires. What is the biochemical description for vampires? The closest that can come to that would be congenital erythropoietic porphyria with erythrodontia. What are the clinical features similar to that of the description of vampires? Vampires are not active in the daytime. They are mostly active in the night. Why? Because these patients of congenital erythropoietic porphyria will have accumulation of the porphyrins in the skin because of which when they are exposed to sunlight, there will be severe reactions that lead to photosensitive blisters. Also, accumulation of the same porphyrins in the teeth and the gums will actually give you red fluorescence on exposure to sunlight and UV light, which will give you an illusion that these patients may have have blood in their mouth after having had a blood meal. Why? These people will be having sharp canines because they have deficiency in the formation of heme because the defect is in the heme synthetic pathway defect. And whenever you have heme synthesis being defective, the source of heme can be hemoglobin and myoglobin. Heme can help in the formation of hemoglobin and myoglobin also. So, these people will have craving for meat. Meat is made up of muscles. Muscles are actually made up of myoglobin, which is a rich source of heme. So, the closest description for a vampire would be congenital erythropoietic porphyria with erythrodontia.